All right, some of the items that I use for forearms. Somebody was asking me about um, how I get my forearms that way. I mean, they're not bad, but one of the things I've been using for the longest, I've had this for a couple years now, at least seven, eight years, is the Eagle Claw. That thing increases your grip, and it's nowhere near easy. It's not a simple thing to do. The other thing I use, I've been using for a few years now, if you've been watching my video, is the iron arm. That basically like deadens nerves and will build up tolerance and endurance in your hands, knuckles, just makes it more tighter. So when you uh, hit something, you absorb the blow better and it's not so, you know, tolerable. You can, um, Heard that if you build it up strong enough, you can actually break someone's arm from them trying to hit you. But I've been practicing it for a while and I've gotten some results out of it. The other thing I want to show you are the NSD balls. A lot of people should be familiar with these because of uh, YouTube and a lot of videos. I've been selling these and using them on since 2006. Basically, it's just a gyroscope in there, generates force, speed it up, it'll help with your grip. And your grip strength. There's plenty of different ways to use it. Look it up. It's our NSD ball. I forgot the other name. This is basically the same thing. It's just a lot heavier and a lot bigger, making it a little more difficult to use. These things also come with meters. They'll like let you uh, know how fast you spun them. What uh, you can challenge a friend, go against them. Again, you get this one started. I'm gonna show you what it is or what it's like, what it does to my arm. You generate it. It's almost like a motorcycle revving up when you're switching gears. Now if you come a little closer, you'll hear it. You hear it when it starts to speed up. Okay, it's catching on now. I'm gonna just try and burn it out. Now watch the vascularity in my arm and I have to grip this thing. Really? <clears throat> it is no joke. Another thing I'm gonna show you, besides the forearm things, how to get like listen to my face, listen. <clears throat> mm. That's so you can hit harder. It also helps you when you're striking the bag and all that stuff. So. Now the other thing is, when I do that, after I do that, it's there. Is that I uh, I try and burn out with the 50s and the 40s. I just bring it here, burn this out. <clears throat> after I hit those. I'm going with these 40 pound dumbbells and I'll try to burn out. I'll try to keep going and going and then I drop it down to the 25s. If I drop it down to the 25s with the curl at home, I'll show you real quick. After I do all types of curls with the 25s, I might drop down to the 15. But these are the ones I use for high reps with, and the other ones I keep them low rep. Like with the 25s, my own to start a technique, I'll curl it, and then I'll toss it. Curl it, toss it, curl it, toss it. That's for overall forearm, head, and arm strength. My abs are doing okay. It's not so bad. But again, curling these 30s. 40s, 25s, and the 40s, they're like real even. I can rip out with these all day. The 50s will give you that extra burn, and boom, you get that forearm action in. You strike harder, hit harder. Like, see my backhands? 